Hello, Keller Williams agents. Garrett Stewart here with Command Consult. And today I wanted to show you a quick and easy way to send out postcards uh, to maybe a neighborhood that you had just listed, just sold, something like that in, uh, in an area and you wanted to send them postcards through Command. Now, there's two ways to do that. One is using a template through the direct mail campaigns. Um, We'll do that on another video, but today I wanted to show you how to create and customize your own postcard and download it to upload it into a uh, campaign to uh, mail out to a neighborhood and how to um, filter out a neighborhood to get the right people you want to send that postcard to. So we're going to dive right in and we're going to start in designs. We're going to click on the little designs tab and we're going to create a new uh, template here in designs by clicking this little blue button right down here with the plus uh, Postcards are printed. So we're gonna hit print and since we're we are going to be doing a just sold for example today We're gonna go ahead and hit import photos and text from a listing So hit next and it's gonna load up uh, to search for uh, a listing. So I'm gonna use one of my listings It's pending right now, uh, but hopefully in the next week or two it should be closed uh, so we're going to type it in and it's searching and hey, there it is. So we're going to go ahead and hit select. Now it's going to load in uh, and, and give us all these different templates to choose from. Uh, and if you go over here to listings and do just sold, we can go and then click on standard postcards. We have a lot of different choices right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and choose one. So I've kind of uh, kept this theme of this design right here. So I'm gonna continue that theme uh, and with that and hit use. Uh, this is a great way if you're doing maybe just listed, just sold, uh, and continuing to send stuff out to uh, a neighborhood, uh, you're gonna start to get recognized over time. So. Uh, it's a great way to keep that similar style look so they recognize it over time. So we're gonna, we'll minimize those pages and we'll just ha uh, start with the front page of this postcard. We're gonna hit KWLS on the side first. This is gonna load in all of the pictures of that listing. Uh, so we can drag and drop that right into here. And just like that, it loads in, you know, if I wanted to do a different one, maybe, uh, different angle of the property, I could do that. Uh, so once I have that in there, um, people will be able to recognize that in the neighborhood where it's at. Uh, let's go ahead and fill in some more stats on it. So we can obviously click on here and hit that listing details. And this is going to load in all of the listing details filtered in through KWLS. Uh, so super cool feature in here. It saves me a little bit of time. Uh, and we can just go in and start filling in all of this stuff. So obviously we could go in and we could put, uh, we were listed at $350,000 and, and we sold for $354,000. Uh, so over asking and we sold it in one day. Whoops. All right, and then we would obviously just go back and forth and uh, make sure everything is all correct in there. Uh, I love having this stuff in here for quick reference. So I see it's 1140 square feet. I can jump in here and edit that 1140 square feet. And then uh, last thing would be uh, we built in 1998. And if you don't want to include the year built and you just want to put the address, watch that. Watch. You can just backspace and not have an um, address on there or uh, the year built. Uh, and if I wanted to replace just the address, watch this. I can actually, since I have this highlighted uh, currently, I can actually replace this, hit that, and it fills in that address. I just got to put in the state. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Whoops. There we go. And we can, I might make that a little bit bigger. Perfect. Done. All right. So now we're going to go to the back page. So we're going to hit this next page right here. And that's going to 
load up on the back page. Uh, so we're going to customize it to what I want. Now we're going to go through this part relatively quickly. Uh, you don't need to uh, see all of it. Uh, if it was just listed, I might input and put the, the listing description right in here like this. Uh, otherwise, with the just sold, I'm probably going to put something like uh, we received uh, multiple offers in the first 48 hours or something like that, uh, saying the market's really hot. We uh, have more buyers looking in the neighborhood. Who do you know that's looking to sell in the area? Uh, so that would probably be my target on, on this. Uh, I'd get rid of this hygienic because I'm not going to uh, customize it per person. Uh, the only customization will be uh, the sender um, or the, the recipient down here when this sends out. So. Um, I'm gonna go through here and, and edit everything. So obviously we've got the logos down here. I have multiple saved. So I could just drag and drop that logo on here. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna delete this logo um, down there, uh, the extra one, and maybe just expand this one. Okay, and then finally, uh, we have this headshot here. Uh, I have my library, I have some different headshots in here. Maybe we'll do this one. Um, we'll just drag and drop that on there. We could even resize it if we want to. Uh, and then go through all this text to make it personalized to me. So let's just fast forward and say uh, I got that all done. Now uh, we're going to do, you know, just sold postcard. We'll have that named so that way I know where, what it is. Uh, and you can see it's a six by four standard postcard. So. This is the important part if you are going to be sending postcards through command. We're gonna hit this little download button here. And we're gonna hit get PDF. And then we're gonna hit current design. This is gonna download just the back side of the postcard. That's what we're on, that's the current design. Uh, so we're gonna download the back and front separately. You're gonna see why uh, in a second because we have to upload them separately. Obviously we want it high resolution. And then publish settings, uh, we wanna use manual bleed. So again, we want PDF, current design, high resolution, and use manual bleed. Once we hit that, we'll go start download, and we're gonna go from there. Uh, we're gonna give it just a second to download that. And we'll see it pop up here in the bottom left corner in just a second. You can see up here it says preparing. So don't freak out if it, you're wondering what's taking so long. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and previous page. We want the front downloaded as well. Uh, and we're gonna hit download, same thing. And nice thing is all these settings were saved for us. So we can go ahead and just hit start download. And that's gonna download the front for us. Once that happens, we're gonna hit done. There it goes, we're gonna hit done. And that's gonna kick us back into the design templates that we have. We're gonna go over here to campaigns. From campaigns, we're gonna go into create a new campaign and we're gonna hit direct mail. Now direct mail, we're gonna obviously um, build this out just like we would uh, for any other campaign that we're doing. So we enter a campaign name. So we put just sold 1183 Scenic Park Terrace. Okay. And on this one, you know, you're going to decide what you want to do, uh, where we are going to, this is going to be attract listings for us. We want to uh, get more listings out of it. Um, find sellers who are looking for agents who can sell their home. Cool. So we can upload a custom template. That's what we're going to do here. Now, you could just do a t template in here that's not very customizable. You just basically get to choose the front of the front picture. That's pretty much it um, uh, with some text that you might be able to change the text in, but you can't change anything else around. So just be aware of that. That is a possibility, um, but I prefer doing my own custom template that we created in designs. So we'll go ahead and hit set up campaigns. Then this is where we're gonna upload it. So we're gonna hit browse files and we'll hit, there's the front. So we'll upload the front. And this is when you're gonna know if you downloaded it correctly. If you throw an error message here, 
you know you didn't do one of those things that I showed you when you were hitting the download. Maybe you didn't do manual bleed or something like that. So um, that's why it's so important to make sure you pay attention when you are downloading it and making sure you're doing all those options I told you about. Uh, it knows it's a four by six now, so it has a little check mark. We'll do back postcard and we'll select that. And now we're uh, uploading that as well. Once that's completed, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and hit that little finish button and uh, go to here. And now we can see it's a four by six. It's 59 cents first class. That is printing and postage. Uh, so there's gonna be no additional cost on top of that. And there's no minimum. That's the cool thing. There's no minimum of sending these postcodes. I could send this to five neighbors if I want to. Um, so uh, really neat uh, way you can do that here. Uh, I can upload a, a DBA logo. Uh, I'm not going to because I already have it on the back, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, then the rest I can enter in, you know, my office information in here, uh, get that all inputted. Okay, there we go. We're going to hit verify address and it knows, uh, it corrects it so it has the correct zip code, like the a trailing four digits on it. I can't remember what that's called, but it has that uh, rest on it. So that's going to be your return address. Uh, and then there's targeting. So this is the really cool part. There is a way to target your database if you ever want to just send postcards to your database. Now, um, we're not going to do that on this one, but you can send, uh, send postcards through there. We're going to do local targeting. So we're going to enter in the address. So we'll do 1153 Scenic Park Terrace. And that's in Nevada. That's in Reno. And that is 89521. Cool. Okay, so we're going to hit save. And that targeting is going to put a pinpoint on our map for us when we find it. Uh, so if I send 200 postcards, I'm not going to probably send 200. Uh, I'm going to probably going to send 100. Uh, that's going to be $59. Now, you can change this. This is just a preliminary 100 postcards. You're, you're going to have an opportunity to change it in a second. So we're going to hit configure targeting. Do you want to create this campaign? Yes. So it's going to uh, boot into our partner real mailers and it's going to load into here for us takes just a second and now it's loaded in now this is the really cool part uh you can see here is the property in the little red uh and all the other properties around now there's um I might be able to, or I might want to maybe hide a property or something. So if I hover over, um, look at that, 11853, that's the property, last sold 98. That's the property. I don't want to send them a postcard. Um, so I could actually go ahead and hover and hit remove, and that's going to stop them from sending a postcard. Maybe I know the next door neighbor is a real estate agent. I don't want to send them a just sold postcard. Uh, I'm not going to waste 59 cents. So I can go ahead and do that for the next door neighbor uh, or, or whoever. So I can filter those out. Uh, it's going to do a radius of 100 homes closest to it. But I can also filter. So if I don't want to send it to multifamily. I can make sure it just goes to single family homes. Luckily, all these are single family homes. So we're good there. Uh, and then finally, I could filter this out. Maybe I don't want to send this postcard to anyone whose home last sold in the last couple of years. So maybe I'll backdate that to 2018. And you're going to see some, some of those dots moved around. Uh, so we still have 100. So um, it just moved farther out to for some of these that, had, that we lost the dots on. Uh, so it pushed them out a little bit further. So a really cool way to be able to do that. And then I, uh, that's normally the only one I'll change is the year last sold. Um, I normally won't uh, filter these out because that doesn't really matter to me. Um, and then finally, I could do send a copy to company address. Uh, and that's going to just add 59 cents for me. Uh, it charges for me. But that way I know when these people, when it hits their, uh, these people's mailboxes, I'll know. So we're going to go ahead and hit next. Now this is going to process a preview in here. Uh, you can see the order total here. Uh, this talks about same day processing if it's before 3 p.m. Uh, and it's going to take about uh, four to six business days uh, for them to receive it. Now, so I would always say give it about seven to 10 days total 
to estimate for its arrival. That's about the pattern I've seen. I've seen some areas be quicker, um, but that here in Reno, that's about how long it took. Um, a couple things to note, you can see one here, it's all loaded in so you can see exactly what it looks like. Um, and then the other thing is it's going to send to current residents. So it's going to be whoever lives at that property. It does not forward because it doesn't have the, the owner's name. It just says current resident. So do keep that in mind. Um, it's going to go to whoever is at that property. Um, so that is a nice way to see. Um, so people that are living in that community, you know, they're the ones that are receiving it though. So uh, it's a final preview just to see exactly what it looks like. You can view a larger preview if you want to. Uh, and then the last thing is, is you make a payment. Now it's going to charge instantly. It's going to go th process through real mailers. And, um, and then you just wait for that to go out. Uh, so my suggestion is, is definitely have a good call to action on here of, of what it is. Uh, I've done videos in the past where I talk about adding a QR code to your postcards. And you can add a QR code and maybe send it to a home valuation site or something like that, uh, I think would be a really cool feature to do. Uh, so just a suggestion for you. If you're trying to find that video or any of my other trainings, uh, you can always go to my website. That's commandconsult.com. You can see it right up here. And then you can click on this video tab. Now, uh, the QR code one is a little bit further down. So just keep in mind on that. Uh, you might have to scroll down just a little bit, uh, adding QR codes to postcards. Uh, so it's right before I started changing to these new video design uh, ones. Uh, so that's where you'll be able to find it. And I'll show you how to add a QR code to your postcard. And then you'll be able to uh, hopefully send people there for a home valuation estimate. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you need any other help with command, you can always visit my website and check out some of the cool resources I have on here as well as video training. Thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day.